Hey, Fight fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps, and I'm joined now with Katharina Thanders. It's great to meet you for the first time. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> Pleasure. <laughs> Have you had an opportunity to sort of take it all in? Because this is quite a, this is quite a um, big card. Yes, it is. I mean, I'm like yeah, assuming it as something really normal, but yeah, it's a really big thing. And when I think about it, it's like, whoa, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I know. And this card is making big waves for women's boxing making history in a sense. I mean, if you think about it, just a few years ago, you would never hear of a triple header with women. Unfortunately, you just wouldn't. Why do you think that it's taken boxing so long to sort of turn the curve, as you would say? Well, I guess that boxing has been a male-dominated sport for many, many years. And obviously, uh, lately, we have seen great female fights and, and that helps a lot. And of course, you know, all the work that certain promoters, as Eddie Hearn is doing for female boxing, is also, uh, you know, helping a lot. Um, you know. It seems like MMA was just sort of rising for women, but it just seemed like boxing was a bit stagnant for a while. But I think it always, you always need this, you know, single person that makes like the change. I think in the MMA it was maybe Ronda Rossi that made this huge change, you know, for female MMA. And, and now it's happening with several female boxers, you know, like, I don't know, Clarissa Shields or Katie Taylor or Amanda Serrano or, or you know, Cecilia Brecchius, Jessica McCall. I mean, we have now really many, many great female boxers and um, it, it's also important to have great fights I mean exciting fights 50-50 uh, fights and we, we are seeing that right now and that you know makes people uh, wanting to see the female fights because they think it's exciting to watch so it's you know a lot of uh, different things that are put together and yeah. <laughs> well you're going to be facing Terry Harper just this weekend and I know that you have said that you've been having your eye on her for a while now so this is this is something you've anticipated for some time coming you said that she had a lot of weaknesses are you basing that solely off of one performance several performances what what is it exactly that you saw well i didn't say that she has a lot of weaknesses but that, that i've seen some weaknesses um no i'm, I'm basing on several fights here yeah, but you know I, I try to tell everybody that we, we all have weaknesses, you know, but I've, I've certainly seen uh, the weaknesses that she has and what I have to work on. So, you know, we have worked, uh, we have worked with that in mind, yeah. When she fought Natasha Jonas, did you think that she won? Yeah, I did think so, yes. Mm. You know, a lot of people don't feel that she won. Okay, I don't know, I've... I've heard many that yeah. thinks the same uh, as I. I don't think it was a huge difference, you know. I think it was a quite close fight, but I, I do think she, she should have gotten the win. Mm -hmm. Natasha Jonas said that she wanted the rematch, but they went ahead and there she said that she had a deserving mandatory who needed the shot first. Did she make the mistake? Did she make a mistake choosing you rather than the rematch with Natasha? I think um, both the rematch with Natasha and the fight with myself would be, you know, uh, difficult fights for her either way. So, um, you know, I, th I think it would have been the same. <laughs> what makes you the better fighter going into this? Between Harper and me. <laughs> I'm more experienced. Uh, I've actually boxed more rounds than her as well. I think I'm also in my best age, you know, because I'm 32. Um, I am still young but I'm not like close to the 40s, like, yeah. you know, fed up with boxing and I just want to like hang, hang up the gloves. I'm like in my best physical and mental stage in my life. Uh, so, you know, that gives me a good, a good start. <laughs> what made you fall in love with boxing? I know I often get asked this just with my covering boxing, but with you, what was it specifically that made you fall in love with boxing? Well, I started in 2007 with kickboxing and it was something about, you know, that first time when I put on the gloves and I trained and I was completely exhausted and I just thought, wow, this is my thing. <laughs> and, and from the first day I actually tried it, I already knew that I want to compete, I want to, you know, I want to be the best. It's quite a strange thing to say, but... 
And I always enjoyed watching combat sports, uh, but it was not the favorite thing in my house. Like my mother was always, you know, switching the channels off to something <laughs> else. And so I started a little bit late, but when I started, I, I always, you know, I was very disciplined and, and constant. So I've trained ever since, yeah. <laughs> Were your family supportive of y your decision to go into boxing? Yeah, I mean, it's not the dream sport for them, of course, but they have been in uh, every single fight, and this is actually the first one that they won't be able to come, so they're quite sad about that, but um, they will be supporting me from <laughs> from the screens. <laughs> Unfortunately, due to COVID, uh, we won't even have fans in attendance, which really sucks. Um, but seeing that you're the one who's fighting in her backyard, do you feel that that gives you the advantage? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I will have to fight her with <laughs> all English judges, you know, here in the UK. Um, so, you know, not having her crowd here with her, I hope that the judges will be neutral, uh, you know, not on her side or my side, just neutral and that the decision will be fair. I think it's also quite important for boxing that we see fair results, you know, that they don't take sides with the local boxer because... In the end of the day, if that happens all the time, people will notice. Mm -hmm. So I think they've that's just, they've been noticing. Mm -hmm. So then people will just get fed up with it and think like, <laughs> what's happening, you know, with the results. So that's the only thing uh, that I hope for, a fair result. And um, absolutely, I think that not having a crowd will be something good for me. When you do see the judges making the decisions that they make. Unfortunately, it seems like just about every fight, there's one card where people are questioning what in the hell one of the judges was watching. Is there added pressure for you going into it, knowing that you're going to someone's backyard to have to stop her? That way you don't feel that there's a chance that that can happen to you? Obviously, I try not to focus on that um, because it's something that is completely out of my control, so I can't really do anything about that. Uh, it, it does change my strategy, of course, and my way of boxing. I, I know I can't box like I would have been boxing in my hometown, um, so it does change a little bit the game plan. Um, but you know, I don't, I don't sit down and think about the judges. I'm just going to do my fight. I'm going to do my work and and win. <laughs> Women's boxing, unfortunately, only has two minute rounds, and we're starting to see more people wanting it to go to three minute rounds. Do you feel that way, or are you, do you want it to see it get to three minute rounds? Yeah, I've always said that I really don't understand why we have to box two-minute rounds. I mean, we train exactly the same as the males. I, I train three-minute rounds in the gym. Uh, obviously, when I'm quite close to the fight, we do change to two minutes just to get used to the two yeah. minutes. But, you know, I think it's a little bit sad because, uh, of course, we have less knock knockouts in female boxing and it's because of the two-minute rounds. You don't have time to prepare the knockout in the same way as the male. So uh, we also have to rush a little bit more. So, you know, many people say that the female fights are quite active, but it's because we have to be active because two minutes they go like this, you know. Um, so um, I really hope that we can box three-minute rounds. Um, we had a great fight between Sinisa Estrada and Marlene Esparza. They, they fought three-minute rounds and they did a great, great job. And they proved that, it's, you know, that we are in a physical shape to do it. Um, so, you know, and, and then it won't be any excuses for being uh, underpaid because many people use it to, to, to um, justify that, you know, we, we don't box as many minutes as the males and stuff like that, just stupid excuses, but, you know, I, I, I really hope for equality in, in the rules when it comes to boxing as well. Do you find it more challenging to get sponsors involved? Um, I often hear that a lot of the women fighters are always having issues getting sponsors, and is, is that the case for you? Has it been? I'm not saying it is now, but has it been? Yeah, I've always been quite lucky with um, sporadic sponsors, you know, that has uh, showed up for certain fights or things like that. Recently, I actually got a, a main sponsor that, which is a great thing, uh, Betson. 
um, but you know, um, yeah, it, it can be challenging to, to, to get these sponsors that are with you the whole year, you know, uh, and that's what you really need many times because we don't get paid so we can have this one or two fights and just relax the, the, the rest of the year, you know, so um, uh, I'm getting <laughs> concentrated. <laughs> Have you ever encountered a moment in your career where you had to very blatantly deal with sexism? Uh, not in the gym, for instance. I mean, well, yeah, maybe in the very start you have to kind of win your own respect. Uh, in the very start, and then they they start seeing that you you are serious about what you're doing, and you know. Uh, but I, I have I have seen it like well, of course, uh, being underpaid, and I have had to box for free, you know, in my first boxing uh, in my first boxing shows, stuff like that, you know, but not directly in the gym, for example. I've always, you know, been surrounded with people that has respected me and, yeah. <laughs> I've been in many gyms and I've seen women sparring men yeah. because it's very limited. It's, I guess it's slim pickings, unfortunately, for you guys to get female sparring partners. Is that the case with you as well? Do you spar men? Yeah, for many, many years I didn't even train with women. I think the first girl I trained with was maybe in 2014 or something. <laughs> um, and yes, I have, well, sometimes we, we, we didn't really have other girls to spar with or train with, so the only option we had was to train with, with uh, men. But now it's a bit easier because it's more girls around. Like, for example, for this fight, I did have a girl that came from Germany, but I did have to bring her from another country. <laughs> so, um, because of the level, I mean, I'm living in Spain and we do have girls, but, you know, it's difficult to have them in your own weight and that can actually give you, like, a challenge on, in the training. Yeah. Wow, I really hope to see things change. I mean, we have seen some improvement, thankfully, and you're a part of this uh, this card, a historic card for women, and hopefully it, it sort of breaks ground in the, the direction of where women's boxing is going. Um, I wish you nothing but the best on the weekend, and you seem like a really nice person with a great smile, so um, I wish you nothing but the best. Do you have anything you want to say? Well, just say thank you for all the support that I'm receiving, uh, even here in England. I mean, they're receiving me really well and treating me really well, so I'm feeling very great. And uh, he has some great fight fans. Yeah. Yes. 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 That's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll speak with you on fight night. So um, it was great meeting you, and we'll speak soon. Bye, fight fans. Hey Fight Fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps. If you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you do so by clicking this icon right here or else.